everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so in today's video i am finally doing this requested Lay perfume layering combos. I, I think three or four people have requested me to do a layering video with just perfumes. So that's what we're doing today. And this is going to be the spring edition. So I have quite a few, I think I have, I have eight layering combos. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first combo I, when I purchased this perfume, and I had recently worn the other perfume. I was like, I think these two would pair well together. And I'm going, I'm, I've been liking that shampoo-y type of scent right now. So I love this combo. And that is C. Passione with Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple. And I just love that they're both in red bottles. What a coincidence. So these two layer together. You know, this is your juicy, fruity shampoo scent. This is your juicy, fruity kind of fragrance miss pretty girl scent. It, it doesn't smell perfumey. It smells like a fragrance mist, but elevated a little bit. So when you mix these two together, oh my goodness, it gives you that fruity, shampooy, pretty girl, like flirty scent. Young, pretty, flirty, juicy vibes. That's what I get from this. And since this is so, you know, like you just got out and just sprayed a fragrance mist all over, you smell good, not too overpowering. And then this is like I told you that shampoo, fruity, but it has some weight to it, yeah. Now, y'all, it has some weight, but mixed together, it just gives you that fresh out of the shower. I use all fruity uh, bathing products. I use all fruity, you know, hair products. And then I put on a good smelling fragrance mist and you just smell pretty, fresh, fruity, and girly. That's what this gives you and I love it, okay? Absolutely love this combination. Now this next combination is also shampoo-y. I told y'all I've been going, you'll see the kind of fragrances I've been gravitating towards based on these combinations. But this is a different shampoo-y vibe than, this, than the other combination I just showed you, which is extremely fruity. Now this is Idol. And this to me is a rosy shampoo. Modern, rosy, shampoo-y, clean. I always get compliments when I wear this. And this is a new fragrance in my collection. This is Valentino Born in Roma Coral. And this scent is light, fruity, and also makes me think just on the top shampooing. But when you mix these two together, you get a light, sweet, floral, fruity musk shampoo scent. It is, it starts out fruity, especially the Valentino Coral, but then as it lingers on your skin, you get more of that fresh, rosy musk that comes out, but it's still, shampooy still light still pretty still airy for spring and i love it and this is again idole by lancome and valentino donna born in roma coral now this next combination i can't remember i know i was requested like a couple years ago i think i did a video y'all i didn't take the chance to go look on did these fragrances smell like i can't remember what i thought back then but now these two smell alike they're not identical to me but they you know they're almost identical and it's one of my favorite fragrances that i felt i love back in the day i still like it but i'm trying to see if i'm gonna love it again and this combination is chance janelle au tendre with lalique's l'amour Okay, so Tendre, I just always think pretty girl, fruity, floral, 
powdery musk. It's just a nice, pretty, young scent for a, a Chanel fragrance. And that's why it was my first one ever. And I absolutely loved it. Still like it. It's not at the love status anymore. And this to me is a more... I don't want to say, it's a more sophisticated, mature version of this fragrance. Now mixed together, yeah, the Lalique L'Amour adds creaminess and takes away the sharpness that I can sometimes get in the Otendre. And I prefer that. I prefer taking that tartness away. And this is like a perfect match because like I said, and why can't I get it to turn around? <laughs> it's like a perfect match because they smell similar. It's a little creamy, a little more sophisticated. And, it, and when you mix them together, it just makes a pretty powdery, sweet fragrance. It doesn't take away from this fragrance if you love it this to me enhances it and they're like a, a perfect match they enhance each other it adds what i would takes away some of the what i would like taking away from adding this one without losing the fragrance because sometimes when you mix fragrances you get a whole new fragrance sometimes you just enhance one of the fragrances or sometimes you have a perfect match to me this is a perfect match that enhances and takes away certain aspects that i don't love about this fragrance and this combination is potent it like projects it is stunning and again that is chance chanel otendre and lalique l'amour now this next combination i'm going to talk about i think i've talked about it before but Y'all, I couldn't leave this out because this is one of my most favorite compliment getting layering combos. And that is C. Fiore by Giorgio Armani. Just feminine bubblegum, sweet powderiness in like just a sophisticated way. And then my way from Giorgio Armani, which is your candy bubblegum tuberose floral scent. And when you mix these two together, you get sweet and flirty, but womanly. Bubblegum perfection. Because, you know, when you say bubblegum, you think, oh my goodness, it's so childish. But this is not. I wore this um, to a, a business meeting and I was walking in with another co-worker and she was like, oh my gosh, I said, you smell so good. And that's how she said it. It's so pretty, but, and sweet and a little flirty, but it's girly, but womanly. If you want to smell girly, but still like a grown woman, this combination, you can't go wrong. I absolutely love it. And this bottle's feeling a little bit light. I'm thinking about trying to hunt this down to get a backup because this is backup worthy to me. And again, this is C. Fiore and Giorgio Armani's My Way. Okay, this next combination is because, okay, I told you I was like leaning towards shampoo-y scents a little bit. And I've also been kind of leaning towards that fresh, clean, shower fresh scent. So I have Mont Blanc signature scent right here, paired with Amo Ferragamo's Perle. Now, I just randomly said, I'm gonna try these two together. Cause I've been recently wearing this one quite a bit and it is your milk bath, creamy, a little floral, a little sweet, like to me, milk bath scent. And Perle is your bubble bath, lotion, powder. You just feel like you did the whole shebang if you spray this on. So when you pair these two together, you get a creamy, sweet, fresh, pretty, bubble bath, classy scent. Because to me, you can never go wrong with smelling clean. You just, because 
And lately now, sometimes I don't want to smell perfumey. I just want to smell like girl. You got it like that. That's just Shaughnessy's essence. That's just how Shaughnessy smells. You know, if you want that type of vibe, this is a good combination because you don't smell perfumey. You just smell like I just smell good. That's just me. What you wearing, girl? That's just me. <laughs> that's what this gives you and again this is Mont Blanc signature and Amo Ferragamo's Perle. I think this is another combination I might have mentioned in a previous video but again I couldn't leave it out and then oh my word why in every video now lately y'all I'm about to break a perfume that habit needs to stop so what I'm going to talk about is uh, Dolce & Gabbana's Three Limb Patrice Pair with Delina's La Rose. This is your lighter version of Delina. This is your summer version of Delina. And then, you know, it's rosy, it's watery, it's fresh, it's pretty. And then, Lim in Patrice, this is your watermelon, kiwi, watery, fruit bowl. Think of infused water. Because I never did really, I remember when I purchased this a few years ago, I was like, I don't get the hype, but I would get compliments wearing this because it smells prettier in the air than just smelling it from the bottle. It smells prettier in the air to me. And when you pair these two together, because you have your rosy freshness, you have your fruity, like um, infused water, a little sweet, little tart. This is a little, you know, sweet, tart, fresh. You put these two together, you get a pretty, watery, kind of transparent, fruity fragrance with tartness. But it's the tartness that won't turn sour on you. Because I remember it was burning up. And I had to go to convocation. I was on a bus. We had to wait. And I was wearing this. And like I said, I'm a sweater. So I'm very careful and very particular about what type of fragrances I wear when I know I'm going to have to be out in the heat, moving around. Because like I sweat. And this is when I was receiving compliments on this fragrance. Burning up and sweating. I was like, whoa, you smell good. Oh, the bus smells good. It was from this. And, and I received a compliment when I had paired it with this fragrance. That, oh my goodness, you smell so pretty, so fresh, so sweet and airy. It's just a beautiful combination for spring and summer. So another note that I still am wearing, and it's not like it's going anywhere anytime soon, is vanilla. I'm still wanting vanilla. Now I'm kind of pulling away from it a little bit because... I was wearing quite a few vanilla fragrances to finish up something. So now I'm kind of ready for some fruity. That's why I was like loving the shampoo-y fragrances. But this is a combination that is very pretty. This is Dama Bianca. And you see a little dent in that. Now this to me, it's, a, it's one that I had heard so much about, and it seemed like either, most people loved it when, you know, when, before I blind bought it, I was watching reviews. And then some people was like, it was just okay. And then when I got it, I was like underwhelmed because the people who I watched who loved it, usually I love everything. But now I do love it. I do see the beauty of it. It's kind of a vintage vanilla that still works. And so I paired it with Alien Goddess by Mugler. And this is your beachy, coconutty, vanilla, tropical kind of scent. And when you pair these two together, you get an alluring, somewhat beachy, because the vanilla kind of cuts the beachiness, but not all the way, fragrance that's like a, an alluring, powdery beachy vanilla scent and this fragrance helps tone down like the vintage vibes of this fragrance and together i really do enjoy that i've noticed with this fragrance i like it more layered with other things because that's when i love it the most is when i'm layering it with something else and i do really enjoy donna bianca and alien goddess layered together okay another note that I can't get enough of, can't find a lot of things with it, 
is marshmallow, okay? So this combination, this is Floral Street Wonderland Peony. Now this is a fluffy, pretty, enchanting, sweet floral scent. And I was like, it's fluffy already. You know, kind of gives you, it's not marshmallowy, but it has that fluffiness to it. Then I was like, what if I pair a marshmallow fragrance with it? And I chose Killian's Princess. Which Killian's Princess, if you don't know, I've talked about it, I don't know how many times. It is a spicy marshmallow scent. Oh my goodness. When you pair these two together, it, it, this pair together enhances the enchantingness of this fragrance. Because I always call this an enchanting fragrance. And it just enhances that. It's already, you know, fluffy and pretty by itself. And then when you add princess with the marshmallow, it's just perfection. It is utter perfection. This paired together, this is these are already pretty fragrances I love on their own, no layering, nothing. I love them on their own. And then when you put them, when I pair them together, you make already pretty fragrances prettier together. Love this combination. Absolutely love it. And it was totally on a whim. Just totally on a whim. I said, I'm going to try these two together. And I absolutely love that combo. So, you all, those are all my layering combos with just perfumes. You know, that's not something I do all the time. Um, it's, it's, you know, I tend to layer more with fragrance mist and a fragrance. But there are times where I do the fragrance mist and a couple perfumes. And so, it, it just all kind of comes together. It's fun. It's, it's a way to use your collection. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of the layering combos I shared with you. And share some of your spring favorite layering combos because we are always looking to smell new, fresh, and pretty, okay? And please share this video with everyone who loves to look, feel, and smell as good as we all do. And please turn on your notification bell so you won't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.